Hello class! So, we are now in your week 5 module and the title is 5 Rs Technique in Waste Management. When you were in grade 4, you already learned about the 3 Rs strategy in waste management. Those 3 Rs stand for reduce, reuse, and recycle. But now that you are in grade 5, there are 2 more Rs that you will learn. This is actually proposed by environmentalists to effectively mini minimize wastes. So you might ask, what are the other two R's to make it the five R's in waste management? Saka, ano na nga ulit yung first three R's? Paano na nga ba yun? So this will be our lesson. People use a lot of things. These things are sometimes called products or materials that are important for our daily activities. But after using these products and it's no longer useful to us, we discard them or throw them away. Thus, we call them wastes. As you can see, when we say wastes, it refers to used or consume products or materials. We also call it trash, garbage, or basura. In the picture, these wastes, after being picked up and collected from our houses, they are disposed into a landfill. Pero sa totoo lang, marami pang proseso talaga bago makarating ng landfill yung mga basura natin. When we say landfill, it is a dumping site where wastes are covered with layers of soil. Pagka itinapon ng basura sa landfill, tinatabunan niya ng lupa. Kaya naman ito tinatabunan ng lupa ay para hindi maging polluted yung surrounding land ng area. But not all wastes are being disposed properly. Improper disposal of these things destroy Mother Nature and ultimately our planet, planet Earth. So question, how can we help save our environment and our planet from these harmful wastes? Meron tayong mga safe wastes, meron din namang mga harmful wastes. So those harmful wastes are the one that destroy our planet. So the answer to how can we help save our environment is simple. It is waste management. So what is waste management? So it is the proper way of handling waste materials to protect the environment, living things, and to lessen pollution. In short, it is the practice of proper waste disposal. Paano mo ba itatapon ng tama at maayos yung mga basura mo? Waste management is implemented anywhere. Kahit saan ka magpunta, sinabatas na yan, ini-implement na yan. And the kind of waste management that we follow nowadays is the 5 R's of waste management. Kumbaga, ito yung modern way of organizing garbage and waste materials. The ultimate goal of the 5 R's in waste management is to free our planet Earth from any kind of garbage. Zero waste. Gusto ba natin to? Siyempre naman, di ba? Aside from foul smell they bring, we do not want to get sick because of them. Kaya naman bawat R ay nakapokus para ma-achieve ang goal which is zero waste. So the five R's in waste management are reduce, reuse, recycle, and the two additional R's are recover and repair. The first R stands for reduce. So when we say reduce, it is to lessen the amount of waste produced. To lessen. This can be done by using less materials that are readily disposable 
either biodegradable or non-biodegradable. Magbabawas tayo ng basura pag sinabing reduce. How? So, these are some of the ways. Buy rechargeable batteries instead of disposable batteries. Yung mga disposable batteries kasi kapag nagamit mo na yun, itatapon mo na lang. Pero yung mga rechargeable batteries, hindi mo sila itatapon agad kasi pwede silang i-recharge. Pagka naging full na yan, pwede mo na ulit silang gamitin. So, di ba? Nakaka-minimize tayo ng basura. Nakaka-lessen. Nakakabawas. Another way is to buy products in bigger packs than those in small sachets. So, in the picture you see, our example is shampoo. Merong nakabattle at merong mga nakasashay. So, instead of buying those in sachet, pwede naman tayong bumili ng nakabattle lang. So, matagal natin siyang magagamit. Instead na yung mga nakasashay, itatapon ka agad natin yung pack niya. Next one is reuse. So, the second R stands for reuse. So, when we say reuse, it is to use the material for the same or another purpose. Uulitin lang ulit natin yung paggamit sa material. So, these are some of the ways where we can reuse the material. So, use eco bags when shopping or going to the grocery store instead of using plastics. Other way, donate clothes and other useful materials to some organizations that conduct relief operations during calamities. So, yung mga damit or yung mga bagay na hindi mo na ginagamit, ipamigay mo na lang yun. I-donate mo yon, may gagamit ulit yon instead na itapon mo. Or, you can conduct a garage sale, not just for clothes but for other items that can, can still be reused. Kumita ka pa. Nakabawas ka pa ng basura. ba? And then, making use of empty glass jars as sugar or coffee container. Kapag naubos na yung laman ng uh, palaman, so pwede mong lagyan ulit yon ng sugar or coffee or another palaman na naman. ba? So, yun po yung reuse. Third R is recycle. So, when we say recycle, it is to create or turn used materials into a new product. So, recycle is different from reuse. Kasi in recycle, after using the material from its original purpose, you are going to use it again but with another purpose. Different from the original one. So, the material itself is different from the original material. For example, so empty plastic bottles that turn into pencil or crayon case. Another one is t-shirt that turns into grocery shopping bags. And the last one is used tires as uh, plant pots. So, kung, kung titignan natin, itong mga materials na to, they really have a purpose. Pag nirecycle natin sila, it is with different or another purpose na. Next one is recover. So, when we say recover, it is taking energy or materials from wastes that cannot be used anymore. So, from wastes, energy can be recovered. So, ibig sabihin, bat basura na talaga sila, pero nare-recover natin yung energy mula doon. So, How? Meron tayong tinatawag na plastic to gasoline, plastic to gasoline, plastic to oil technology. These are just some of the ways of generating energy from plastic wastes. So, oil and gasoline can be used as source of energy. The other one is the incineration technology, wherein wastes are burned to produce heat and electricity. So, ang galing ng process na to, kasi kahit basura na, may kapakanabangan pa rin. So, recovering wastes is not limited to recovering energy. 
It also involves segregation of materials in a recovery facility or what we call MRF. So class, i-clear ko lang ha sa recover, wages na siya talaga, pero nire-recover natin yung energy from wages, from basura. Pwede silang maging oil, pwede silang maging gasoline, pwede silang gamitin as source of energy. Pwedeng maging electricity, pwedeng uh, gamitin na panduto, yun yung pwede nating ma-recover sa mga wages na yan. Sa incineration naman, uh, pag sinunog yung basura at naging mga ashes ito, pwede siyang i-transform ulit into another thing eh. Uh, for example, from ashes, it can become blocks na kailangan para gumawa ng, ng bahay. Or yung mga ashes, pwedeng ihalo din sa, sa lupa para naman sa mga pananim natin. So, ulitin ko. Um, recovering wastes is not limited to recovering energy. It also involves segregation of materials in a recovery facility or MRF. You are familiar with MRF. It means Materials Recovery Facility. So, in here, wastes are segregated in order to recover recyclables and biodegradable materials that can be used as compost ingredients. Yung mga pwede pang gamitin, kukunin pa rin natin yon. Yung mga biodegradable, yung mga pinagbalatan ng mga uh, gulay o kaya naman ay prutas o yung mga kanin na hindi na ubos, kukunin yon, ilalagay yon sa compost pit. Okay, gagawing pataba yon sa lupa para sa ating mga pananim. So, through this, the amount of waste to be disposed of in landfills is reduced. So, the next one is uh, repair. So, repair is fixing broken things or old material so that it can be used again. Pagkukumpuni ng mga nasira na ng mga bagay. So, repairable materials include furniture, appliances, and clothes. These are the things na madalas na nire-repair. If still repairable, this should be repaired instead of buying new materials to replace them. Oo nga naman, huwag, ka, huwag mo munang basta itapon kung pwede pa naman i-repair. Uh, hindi, hindi na siya magiging basura at the same time, hindi ka pa magagastusan para bumili ng another material na gagamitin mo kasi repairable pa rin naman. So now you learn about the 5 R's. Let us enumerate again. Uh, let us know the benefits of using the 5 R's of waste management. First, saves one's money uh, because you can hardly buy new products when you recycle, reuse, and repair them. So, hindi magastos. Kung alam mo kung papaano pakikinabangan ulit yung mga bagay na yon. Recovering used materials enable us to benefit from using free electricity and fire for cooking our meals. Maraming dumedepende dito sa recovering energy kasi nga naman free electricity na tapos pwede pa nating gamitin yung mga nare-recover natin for cooking our meals kasi nagre-release yun ng heat or nagbibigay naman ng heat sa atin. Free from pollution and wastes, any kind of pollution, okay? And keeps resources from running out. So, when we recycle, reuse, repair, and recover used materials, hindi tayo mauubusan. And we do not need to use the resources of earth over and over again. Again, what are the five R's of waste management? So, these are reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. Now that you know the five R's and the benefits you will get from it, let us, let us have an activity. I will give you 10 situations. All you have to do is to identify the R applicable for the situation. It can be reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, or repair. So, yun lang ang isasagot. Ready? 
Situation number one. Missy found her old dolls and gave them to her baby sister. The correct answer is reuse. Second situation. Denise wash and fix her old bag for the upcoming school days. That is repair. Third situation. Jason used paper bags in the grocery instead of plastic bags. The answer is, uh, it's not reuse, but it should be reduce. Reduce. Okay, it should be reduced. Next, fourth situation. Mr. Cruz collected the chicken manure in his uh, poultry farm and gave him to a shop that can convert biodegradable materials into LPG. And liquefied, uh, liquefied petroleum gas. Chicken manure is yung mga pupo ng manok. Okay, the answer is recover. Fifth situation, during Christmas, Kathy and her friends made a Christmas lantern made purely of muscle shells and candy wrappers. Ito madalas, dati meron pa sa school natin na naging contest eh. Okay, the answer is recycle. Next, number six. Melly opens a garage sale in her place to sell all her old furniture. Nabanggit ko to kanina, yung pagkakaroon ng garage sale. The answer is reuse. So, you are not using it, but other people will use it. Next. Anna's school always collects old papers to be used as paper baskets. Ito yung nasa module ninyo. The answer is recycle. Next. Carol bought good vegetables only enough for her one day meal. The answer is reduced. Next. Johnny always brings his water tumbler every time he buys juice from the canteen. Okay. The answer is reduced. Next. Instead of throwing away all the soft drink cans he bought, Dennis used them as pots for his plants. The answer is recycle. So that's it for our lesson class. I hope you did learn something. So until our next lesson, bye!